Hello students, in today's lecture session we will discuss various methods which are adopted by various organizations to decide the price of the product or the service. So do subscribe to my channel Kamal Siddhu for easy and precise lecture sessions. As we know that the term price is the amount that we pay for a good or a service or an idea. So price is an important element of marketing mix that produces revenue while the other four P's or the other elements of marketing mix produce cost. So we define pricing as a managerial task that involves establishing pricing objectives, identifying the factors uh, that go on the price. It also involves the formulation of uh, pricing policies and strategies then implementing those strategies and controlling them accordingly to achieve the best result. The pricing decisions are also important and critical one for, for uh, most of the marketing managers. So we can say that uh, pricing decisions have an important implications for uh, advertising, sales, distribution and sales uh, promotion programs and pricing as a marketing function has a vital role to play at micro and macro levels of the economy of any country. These are the main methods of pricing or we call it the pricing policies. The first one is cost oriented pricing. Under this uh, let's discuss cost plus pricing method. So in this method the marketer estimates the total cost of uh, producing that product then adds a markup or a margin uh, that the firm wants to that price. Then is the break even pricing method. So in th as we know that break even point is the volume of sales at which the total sales revenue of the product is equal to, to uh, equal to the its total cost or we can say that break even point is the volume of sales at which there is no profit or no loss. So this method is also known as the uh, no profit no loss pricing method and the price is calculated by using these formulas. Next is the rate of return or target pricing method. So under this method of uh, first of all a rate of return desired by the company on the amount which it has invested is uh, calculated. The amount of profit desired by the firm is also calculated. So the amount of profit is added to the cost of production and the price per unit of the product is uh, calculated. Then second comes the customer oriented uh, pricing method or we call it customer demand oriented uh, pricing. Here the first one is what the traffic and beer pricing. So in this case the seller charges the buyer a price that seems to be little excessive or little more uh, but it will be well within the range of the buyer. So in this method brings high profits in a short span of time and it can be used uh, where uh, the monopoly exists. Then is the skimming based pricing. Here the firms charge higher prices for their products. The main motive for uh, this kind of pricing is to achieve an early break even point or we can say the firms uh, if they want to maximize their profits in a shorter time span they adopt the skimming based pricing strategy. Then the third one under customer demand oriented pricing is the penetration based pricing. So as opposed to skim skimming pricing the main objective of uh, penetration pricing is to uh, capture the market. So here the firm keeps the price of its product lower than the competitor so that it can easily capture the competitor's uh, customer base. The third pricing method is competition oriented pricing. As we know most of the companies fix the price of their products after carefully uh, studying their competitors price. So first is going rate uh, pricing or we call it parity pricing. So under this method the price of a product is uh, calculated on the basis of the price of competitor products. For example, Coca-Cola and Pepsi mostly follow this kind of uh, pricing uh, method. Then is discount pricing. So when the firm 
calculates the price of its products below the competition level or we can say in this case the companies keep the price of their product below the competition so this is known as the discounting pricing or we sometimes also call it pricing below competition level then similar to this or we can uh, say opposite to this is pricing above the competition level or we call it the premium pricing so here the firm determines the price of a product above the price of same products of the competition so the price policy is adopted by the firms which has high reputation because of good quality then is the competitive bidding or sealed bid or tender pricing in a large number of projects industrial marketing and marketing to the government the suppliers are asked to make their quotations as part of tender and the price quoted reflects the firm's cost and its understanding of the competition so in this case the price is given in the uh, form of seal bid these are some of the other methods which uh, most of the firms also follow. the first one is value based pricing so as we know that good pricing begins with the complete understanding of the value that the product or a service creates for the customers so value based uh, pricing uses buyer's perception of the value regarding a particular uh, product or a service the main purpose for uh, this kind of pricing is not to recover the cost but to capture the value of the product as perceived by the customer then second comes the affordability based pricing so this method is relevant in respect of uh, essential commodities uh, which meet the basic needs of uh, all the sections of the people the main idea here is uh, to set the prices in such a way that uh, all the sections of the population are in position uh, to consume those product and uh, the price is set independent of the cost involved in this case then is market and demand based pricing so the pricing starts with an understanding of how the customers perceptions of the value affect the price and uh, how much they are willing to pay so both consumer and industrial buyers balance the price of a product and service against their own benefits so before setting prices the marketers must understand the relation between price and demand for particular products and services so these are the uh, main pricing methods or we call it the pricing policies